Hi, happy Sunday. Welcome to VC Ski Fitness. I'm Vivian Fonseca and I'm Cara Brown. <laughs> <laughs> One more session for you guys this Sunday. Today we're working about concentric strength. And before we start about to talk about our workout today, so Cara wants, wants to give to you some information, good information about today and some yeah. prizes. Ha. <laughs> yeah, so we have some really exciting news for you guys today. So we have partnered up with Vocal Skis and of course with Ellis Brigham who are hosting these workouts. And we have our own little prize and we're gonna be giving away three prizes. So in order to enter, you need to sign up for our Zoom sessions and make sure you log in for our 6th of December final Sunday session because we're going to be announcing the winners live but you want to know what you're going to win first up is a set of all mountain vocal skis worth 600 pounds we have a men's version and a woman's version so it doesn't matter who wins you're going to get the set that's right for you and then we have a 50 pound Ellis Brigham voucher that you can send in any of the Ellis Brigham stores or online and finally Vivian and I are going to be giving away a free VC ski fitness package. So, super exciting stuff. Make sure you sign up for Zoom. So if you're watching this on Facebook, you need to sign up for the Zoom because we will be announcing it live on the 6th of December. But yes. Ellis Brigham are gonna send you guys emails about this and tell you all about it and we'll put it on our social media too. Yes, it's pretty good, isn't it? I would tell for all my clan, my, my friends, even in Brazil, they come here to, to receive the prize. <laughs> okay, so about today, uh, as you, I was explaining to you before, this is just a piece of uh, like uh, movements, just a few movements we will train you today is inside our workout, our program. So if you wanted to do the proper one, big sessions, like all the information, everything, Go to your program, VC Ski Fitness, and today you'll be just a little bit about it. So I hope that you enjoy it, specifically for all of you go for a ski season, we hope, right? And uh, it, it works as well for all sports, it's no boarding, all winter sports, everything, but today our focus is ski, right, Cara? Yes. That's, okay, that's so... <laughs> Let's go. So I will talk about uh, a set, uh, concentric strength. The last one we did the eccentric one about to hold back the movement. So today is about when you contract, okay? When your fiber do this, like contract. Literally your muscles are this way, your fibers. So what happened when you contract your fibers, literally like you slide like from each other this way and back, okay? More coordination you have, more your fibers like has coordination, have coordination to adjust in this movement. So you have more strength, more disorganized, less strength, more organized, more strength and power. Yes. So let's do some movements. We do some movements today uh, uh, for power contraction. So explosion, explosion. Oh, Viva, my God, you'll be so tough. You'll be so high intense. No, don't worry. Try to adjust your level according with the movements I will be teaching today here this is really good for you to be more precise and to have like better coordination like uh, um, fast reaction when you go for your ski okay the contraction when your body really contract to go for the movement okay so let's do it Kara, do you want to give information okay. about your experience about contraction okay so that was a really good explanation of concentric strength from Vivian. So I'm going to tell you guys why this is important with skiing. So if you joined us last week, we did eccentric strength last week, and I explained why in a ski turn that is important. So as we come into the turn, you're going to sink down, and that sinking down, remember from last week, is the eccentric strength. And then as you come out your turn, what are you going to do? You're going to power up out that turn. You want to push off that outside ski, if your knees are going in this way, you're going to push off that outside ski to make that ski bend underneath you and give you your speed. So that is why concentric strength is so important for skiers. Okay, Vivian, let's see our warm up. 
Okay, so if you want to play some music at your home to have some fun, some energy, extra energy, so let's do it. Please uh, try to get uh, one glass of water, a bottle of water with you. As soon as you finish the workout, drink water. It's very important you be hydrated, okay? Never keep long hours without drink water, especially when you do exercises. Okay, let's go for our warm-up first. So today our warm-up will be a little bit more dynamic because we have to do a lot of contractions like explosions. So let's do it. Ready? Ah, please, trainers. Ha. So if you didn't put your trainers, put your trainers because you have to do a lot of like jumps. So for impact, I prefer to use trainers. But if you're fine, you're uh, already used to do exercise with explosion without trainers, it's up to you. But I recommend put trainers. Okay? Ready? All of us together. And three and two and one. Side to side. Just warm up. Try to move your body side to side, your hips, bend your knees, flex your knees, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lift your hands up, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Now side to side, step. One, two, three, big step. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Stop from one side and just pump a little bit. 10, nine, eight, seven, lift this arm up, six, five, four, three, two, one, other side, one, lift up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now let's go a little bit more faster, it's like a jogging, lift your knee up, breathe in, breathe out, and ten, and nine, and eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, use your arms, and three, and two, and now your heels on a bum. One, and two, and three, and four. Warm, warm, warm me up, all of you, and five, and three, and one, relax. Okay, let's start it. Okay, first movement, the first one. So everybody here, open your legs, bend your knee, okay? First movement for contraction, fast contraction, explosion, power. Bend your knee, you have to use your heel, remember your heel. Yes, your heel, engage your core, you have really to engage upper body, lower body together. You have to push and stand up here, okay? Again, bend here, position, go lower, and three, and two, and one, push, back. Again, down, prepare yourself first. Three, and two, and one, push, and back, down, here, and three, and two, and one, push. Again, down, this leg totally straight. And three, and two, and one, push. Five more, down, your booty back. And three, and two, and one, push. Prepare yourself, bend your knee. And three, and two, and one, push. Down again. Attention to your core, engage your core in three and two and one, push. Down and three and two and one, push. Two more, down, bend, flex your knee and three and two and one, push. The last one, down and three and two and one, push. Okay, well done other side. 
Attention, it's very important. Both sides will do the same. We are not symmetric, okay? We have one side always like stronger uh, with more flexibility the other side. But the exercise, more you train, more symmetric you, be, you start to be. So you have really to put your focus in both sides the same way, okay? Everything you did one side, do the same other side. Bend your knee, hips back, pressure on your heel. Use this leg to push you back, okay? Three, two, one, push. Go down. Three and two and one, push. Down. And three and two and one, push. Down. And three and two and one, push. Attention, you cannot feel pain on your knee. All the pressure comes from your heel. And three and two and one, push. Five more. Five and three and two and one, push. Four. And three and two and one, push. And three. And three and two and one, push. And two. And three and two and one, push. One more. And three and two and one, push. Okay, perfect. Let's go for some challenge here. I love a challenge, yeah. Okay, knees apart, position, engage your core, attention. If you have less flexibility or if you're a completely beginner, long time, you don't do it, you, you are not doing exercise, my device is stay here. More fit you are, you can go lower, okay? So we stay here. You'll be one single jump, explosion, like pow, okay? And three, and two, hips back, pressure on your heels, engage your core, you have to jump up. And three, and two, and one, jump. Land softly. Don't crash your feet, your, your feet on the floor, okay? Again. Here, three, and two, and one, jump. Perfect. And three, and two, and one, jump. Stay here. And three, and two, and one, jump. And three, and two, and one, jump. Attention, don't use too much your hands. The strength comes from your legs, okay? So hands more here. Don't use the momentum to lift you up. Legs, and three, and two, and one. Go. Let's go. And three, and two. Let's go, Kara, go. And three, and two, and one, go. Perfect. And three, and two, and one, go. Two more. And three, and two, and one, go. One more. And three, and two, and one, go. Okay, relax. Oof. Was it hard, Carla? Yeah, I was feeling my legs. <laughs> I can feel as well. So everybody here, we are in the same situation, dying. <laughs> okay, let's go for just five. Five, little bit more challenge. We have to go really lower. Touch your hands almost on the floor. And then jump, okay? Attention here, you don't break the movement. How, how it is, how is it? So you have to... Stay here in one single movement with pressure on your heels, jump, okay? You don't go up, lift your bum up, and then you jump. You come from the bottom, like one single movement to get the fast contraction, coordination, okay? Ready? Five. Engage your core. I want to see you doing this perfectly, ha, huh? all of you. And three, and two. Ready? Go. Good. Again. And three and two. Ready? Go. Perfect. Engage your core. Breathe out when you jump up. Three and two and one. Go. Two more. 
Ready? Jump. The last one, ready? Jump. Great, relax. Ooh, well done, everyone. <laughs> All the exercise and uh, dynamic explosion concentric strength, okay? Attention, you have to stay here. We can do two way, the two ways, okay? We can go this way, push back, or you can go this way and faster, okay? So I will start first backwards. And after that, we go forward, okay? So everybody here, backwards, like back, back, stay here. If you can, go really lower with your knee. You don't need to touch your knee on the floor, but if you can touch your knee on the floor, you'll be one single movement. You have two, up, go up. One more time. You cannot break the movement like do this and go up. It's just one single movement, okay? So I will do this way facing you and you have to understand is one single movement to lift it up, okay? Press on your heel and three and two and one, go up. Back down, ready, up, back down, ready, up, down, ready, up, fast is strong, don't shake your knee, ready, up, two more. Ready, go, up. Come on, all of you all, knee and foot in the same line. Ready? Let's do one more time to complete eight. Ready, go. Perfect, all the leg. So, kneeling, 90 degrees. Okay, pressure on your heel all your power to move your body up, okay? One single movement. Three, two, one, go. Down, ready, go. Two, back slowly. Ready, three. Pressure on your heel. Attention to your knee, the same line with your foot. Go, four. And five, fast and strong. And six, fast and strong. And seven, one more, eight, perfect. Attention, deeper you go according with your level. If you're a beginner, you can just do this, okay? If you are more advanced, you're used to do lunges as this kind of stuff, you go lower. Don't panic. Okay, now opposite. You are here. Okay, you have to push this leg backwards. Okay? So let's start with this leg here first. All of us, this way. If you want to face to the camera, fine. So basically pay attention to my angle here my knee and my heel. You have to push with your heel, your body backwards, okay? You don't use your, your shoulders, you don't use your chest, your head. Use what? Your leg, pushing, okay? Let's go. And three, and two, and one, push. Use this leg to push you backwards, okay? This leg, all the weight in this leg, push. This leg is straight, totally straight, straight, relaxed. And three, and two, and one, push. Perfect. Ready? And three, and two, and one, push. Again. Relax this leg here. Relax, just put pressure on this leg here. And three, and two, and one, push. Again. 
and three, and two, and one, push. Two more. And three, and two, and one, push. One more. And three, and two, and one, push. Perfect. It's not easy. Sometimes you think some exercise, ah, it's fine, no weight, just body weight, fine. Uh, uh, uh. You have to activate different muscles to keep all connected, to really to coordinate the movement to push you back, okay? Other leg, engage your core. All of us ready? Knee, heel, all the strength this leg here, okay? Don't use your hands too much, okay? Try to keep your hands more, stay still here. Your leg does all the movement. And three and two and one, push. Back. And two and three. Let's go, push. Down. Three, two, one, push. Down. Three, two, one, push. Down. Three, two, one, push. Three more. Let's go. Three, two, one, push. Two, don't give up. Three, two, one, push. Last one. Three, two, one, push. Okay, relax your legs a little bit. Let's go for some challenge here. Remember the first session, we are talking about ankles. Ah. Now you have to use your cuffs. You have to use your strength here to do jumps using your cuffs, your cuffs a lot because you'll be on your toes. I'll be just pushing my camera a little bit lower for you to see this, okay? Pay attention to my feet. I put my mat here for you to see really what happened, what's happening with my feet here. So on your toes and this position, the squat position, engage your core, hands here. You have to jump and back to your toes, okay? It's a quick jump, fast, and back to your toes. Ready? And three, and two, and one, jump. Just on your toes, don't use your full foot. Just your toes, let's uh, activate your calves. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Whoops, three, two, one, go. Keep on your, on your toes. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Four. Three, two, one, go. Three. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go. Two more. Go. And one more. Go. Perfect. Relax. Now let's push my, my screen a little bit higher. Attention. Let's use a, a, some our our upper body. Okay, catch your breath. I'll catch my breath. Cara, catch your breath. Yeah, yeah it's you. tough. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're thinking, oh my god, she doesn't stop. No, <laughs> catch your breath. Uh, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, come back. Attention, we have to use core and upper body used for our uh, concentric, okay? Explosion, strength. So what do you have to do here? We have two ways. Beginners, please, don't go crazy on the floor because it can like really uh, injure your, your wrist, okay? Because you are sometimes you don't have core strength enough to hold your movement. So what do you have to do? My wall here, if you have a wall around you or some like really high bench, like this way, you can't be like this way, otherwise it will be too difficult for you. I will explain for beginners and then after that go for advanced, okay? So I give my back to you. Hands apart, you have to flex your elbows and in one movement, push. 
off the, the, the wall and back again, off the wall and back again. Your full body moves together, okay? Don't push your bum first or your chest first. Attention here, if you can see it. So my full body, I go down and push, okay? Just be careful, don't push, then you fall over, please. So here on your toes, on your toes, here, wall and push, back, push, back, push, okay? Now let's go for advanced on the floor. Beginners, go to the wall, be ready. When I say go, all of us, we go together. Advanced, if you're super advanced, advanced just on your toes. I do all my knees because as you know, <laughs> We are doing a lot of exercise, you know, we start our <laughs> crazily. So we go our knees, but if you are super pro without your knees, right, Cara? Yeah, I just thought as you said that, I was like, oh no, that means I have to do it without my knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, today you have to give us like a chance to use our knees. So because we are girls, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. So guys, you have to, don't use your knees. No, I'm joking as well. Please, beginners, all beginners, doesn't matter. Beginners, whoa, moderate to advanced here. Super advanced, pro and push-ups without knees, okay? Please do your level for you not get injury, for you to really enjoy this workout and be very effective for you, okay? This is to build your strength, not to build injuries here. So all of us are engage your core. So we are here. You have to flex a little bit your elbows, just a little bit and push back. Again, push back, push back off the floor, push back, push back, push back, push back, five, you see, almost your hands go, doesn't go off to the floor. Don't go off the floor. It's really tough, okay? Try just to push up. Push, prepare, push. One more, push. Last one, push, relax. Oof. Relax, relax. Are you okay? One more time, you finish everything, okay? And three, and two, and one. And let's go. Ready? Push. Two, push. Three, push. Four, push. Five, push. One more. Push. Relax. I have to say something very important for all of you. It's finished. Woo! Okay, you did very well. Let's go for our stretching. After that, Kara, you give you you give you more information about a lot of things. And as you know, as I was explaining to you before, attention. If you wanted to have full workout, a lot of movements, really proper training, ski training, please go to VC Ski Fitness workout you find a lot of good stuff there we are planning a lot of good uh, workout plan for you to really have your body prepared for ski to be fit or for the next season or just to keep like fit it's really good my advice for you lay down hold your knees extend one leg cross over attention if you didn't feel too much your breath like lack of breath you can do this workout with more challenge, more like deeply, like more deep movements and with more power, okay? Back. You can do my advice as well. We can start to do once, one set of movement. You can do two times. You can replicate this workout many times, please. One day resting and then just multiply it like two or three times each side just to get more challenge. Cross over. Don't forget, drink water, all of you. Start to feel sunny, hydrated. And turn over. Sit on your heels and short pose. Both hands from one side. 
for the other side in the middle and open your chest one side other side and relax well done well done oh, congratulations this workout usually we give for athletes as well and then for and also we usually uh, use for power strength contraction for uh, athletics uh, for volleyball i was volleyball player in the past so uh, we use a lot of this kind of exercise to in increase, improve the, the coordination, the ex explosion. And for ski, it's perfect. Okay. So, Kara, with you. Yeah, definitely. Exactly what Vivian said. That workout is perfect for getting you ready for skiing. So, just to reiterate what I said at the beginning of this session. So, we're working on concentric strength. So, when you're coming out of your turn, you're pushing off that ski and moving into the new turn. And secondly, the other thing that this benefits, which obviously is super important to skiing, is injury prevention. So quite often injuries happen in skiing because at the end of the turn, there are a lot of forces. People get squished down and their legs overbend and then they get popped out by the forces. So all these exercises are teaching you to control those forces so your muscles take the impact rather than your joints and more control means that hopefully when it all goes wrong, your muscles will be in control of your body and they'll help save you. So double, double bonus for today's workout. Yes. But so we, we really like hope that you be, you enjoyed today and then you go to our platform and discover a lot of like workouts similar like this one. We have just one chapter, one just for uh, explosion for concentric. So if you really wanted to be fit with some purpose, like learning about ski for how you get better, you develop better coordination strengths, like your fitness level, go there. It's specific for you. Yes. We will, well, we really hope to see you on our platform. And also, we will be back here for the next two Sundays, with the last one being on the 6th of December. And don't remember, we have those awesome prizes. We've got some free skis, Ellis Brigham vouchers, and a free VC ski fitness package. So thank you so much, Ellis Brigham, for hosting us for another weekend. We love doing this for you guys. We love hearing all your comments and feedback. And yes. we'll see you next week. <laughs> Yes, please send some comments if you're enjoying, how it's is affecting your body, how you're improving. So we like it, your, your feedback, okay? Go to VC Ski Fitness Instagram uh, or our website and send some, send some comments. And thank you very much, Alice Brigham, for our session together. Ski Sunday. Have a good Sunday, everyone. And bye-bye, Carla. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>